Good morning, everybody. So, have you ever wondered why do we sleep so much? I mean, think about it, third of our life, right? By, think for a moment, by the time you're 60, you would spend 20 years of your life just lying in bed doing nothing, right? Why? What happens during sleep? What, why do we have to sleep so much? So um, there is a lot of myths about it, um, and we're going to go through some of it um, using a couple of scenarios. Um, so here is a difficult situation for you guys. Sounds familiar? No? It happens to the best of us, even teachers. Have you seen these weirdly phrased questions on your test? Right? No? Okay. Uh, you figure out your test is tomorrow, you just have one day, guess what? Everything happens that day, somebody breaks up with you, car gets crushed, people get stuck in the elevator. I'm the teacher, I've heard it all. Um, coffee spills itself on your computer. Not your fault, but it does happen. Um, now, what do you do? You've got one hour before night, your usual bedtime, right? Tomorrow's important test, you really have to pass it. You know, you have to get the passing grade. Um, so scenario number one, you just stay up all night and study because guess what? Pulling in all night, it won't really harm you just once, right? What do you guys think? Are you gonna do it? Have you done it? Kinda? audience here. Um, so Amit Jeff, he is a uh, subject in the research. So there is uh, this professor in UC Berkeley who's, um, who has this weird hobby. He deprives students of sleep and he uh, tests them and see what, what it does to them. Um, so this is Jeff in the beginning of the study. He's supposed to spend the night in the sleep lab doing having fun, just not sleeping, doing whatever he wants to be tested before and after the night. Um, can you play the video, please? Hello, it's about 11.27 right now. Um, I've been here for about, an, uh, I think about an hour, no? Yeah, about an hour, so it's the first hour. Um, I'm writing my paper right now, a uh, 30 page paper. Hopefully I can get some of it done before I get too sleepy. 30 pages, right? Ah, very unrealistic thinking. Anyways, do you want to see this Jeff in the morning? His progress on the paper, 30 pages. Um, can we play this video, please? I'm very angry right now. Because I didn't get any... But can I curse on this? Okay, if you haven't heard in the end, he said, I'm very lucid, actually. Does he look lucid to you? He looks like he's under influence, right? Um, actually, um, actually, um, people don't realize it. Uh, when you're sleep deprived, you're not, like, you think you're good and you can do whatever, but if you are tested, your, um, your reaction time is seven times slower. So when you're just a couple of hours sleep deprived, um, it's, it, it equals to when you drive, it's the same as you would be driving under influence. I think they should come up with another test, not just testing for alcohol, but also for sleep deprivation and just stop people uh, because actually uh, a lot more car crashes happen because of sleep deprivation, not because of alcohol. I mean, not because of alcohol as well, but um, it's even more. And we don't even have all of the statistics because it's like you don't know what, why exactly the car crash happened always, uh, but sometimes people just tell, yes, I was sleepy. Um, now, what else are sleep deprivation does to you? Just a couple of hours of sleep deprivation already affect pretty much every function uh, of your body and especially of your brain. So you wanted to study for that exam. Guess what? By the, the, by the end of the day, you already, your brain is over, already overloaded. Uh, each hour at the night passes, 
you just can't perceive the information anymore. Your brain is not really encoding it. Have you ever seen, like, have you ever felt it? Like you read the chapter or you read the sentence and you read it again and you read it and you, it does, you just don't get it, right? Um, because your brain is not encoding it. Now, of course, you can't memorize things as well. Uh, your memory is uh, formation is uh, affected. Uh, now, this is all based on studies. Uh, those people like Jeff, students, who contributed their time and nights, and uh, they were tested in the lab, and that's uh, based on the actual data. Now, the, even worse, you, first of all, you didn't learn anything during this all nighter because you couldn't stuff yourself with that information, your brain didn't get it. Now, what's worse, you came to your test, and now you knew stuff, right? You, like, it's not like you started from zero. You maybe listened to some of the classes, now, the problem is, even if you knew that, your recall, reaching that information, pulling it out and using it is now really damaged. You, even if you knew stuff, you now can access it. It's somewhere in your brain, but you don't have the access. And then you can't express ideas. You really can't get the questions. You don't understand them completely. You have problem analyzing. You're really slow. Reaction time is seven times slower, like I said before. Um, you can't focus. Your emotions are all over the place. You could see it on Jeff. He was like, he was angry, then he was laughing, uh, and then you're irritated and you're confused. So I wouldn't, uh, like, you know, you really uh, don't want to prepare this way to the test probably some of you have experienced a lot of these things but like, even if you get to the test if you drive you might not even get there uh, but if you do what's more you also affected your health just one night of deprivation even a couple of hours of deprivation can do all kinds of things to you you have these killer cells in your body that defend you and kill all kinds of viruses and all kinds of things that you don't want in your body after a few hours of deprivation, the number of these cells goes down. That's why what happens at night, you revive the cells. Uh, so your immune system gets down, you're more likely to get sick. Uh, you're more likely to get into injuries, especially for athlete students. And we know this is all based on statistical data. This is all based on research. Uh, your weight goes up because guess what, your body is compensating for this sleep, sleep deprivation. That's the nature of our uh, uh, bodies. Um, your skin, you probably noticed that your skin doesn't look as good in the evening versus morning because overnight it, regener it regenerates your, uh, itself. So if you didn't have enough sleep, your skin, you kind of have leftovers from yesterday. Your skin is old. You actually age, your skin ages faster if you don't sleep enough. Uh, you know the time when on the day they move the time was it back forward whatever you have to wake up one hour earlier statistically there is a plunge in death due to cardiac arrests people die because of one hour of sleep deprivation we have statistics about it. It affects your cardio health. Of course, it affects emotions. Uh, people have more suicidal thinking. People are more depressed if they're more sleep deprived. So if you really were thinking about this scenario, first of all, you're gonna fail. Even if you knew stuff, like I said, you're, like, you're not gonna learn anything new and you're not gonna be able to use what you knew before. And also, you're actually gonna really hurt yourself um, to the point of you can get in a car accident and die. Uh, now, scenario number two. Look at that. You get your rest, you get your sleep, and then you wake up early and you study right before the test, right? You rest it, because your brain just rests when you sleep. Is it a good choice? No, your grandpa probably told you, you don't cram before exams. You need time. Actually, it's not really the time. It's the sleep that you need. So here is another, uh, there is a, a series of studies, but I'm gonna show you just an example. If you practice something like maybe a new video game, right? When you have to react fast and know the things and uh, mazes and things. So you practice and you practice and you practice, then you're being tested, then you have a retest in a couple of hours, right? It's a new video game, you just learned. Now, 
in the lab in UC Berkeley, what they had, they, they had some people after the first test to go and keep practicing more and more and more and more. So you're doing this video game or this typing activity, uh, whatever you just learned. Um, then another group uh, went and had a break. You know, they said, go and do something, whatever you like. And the third great, uh, group of uh, students got to sleep in the sleep lab. They actually have a whole bedroom in there. It's a sleep lab. Um, so they were lucky to get a nap in the middle of the day. No problem, people were like, you, like, like, you have students like horizontally, they fall asleep. Um, so what do you guys think? Which groups um, did the best at the retest? Now, here is the cool thing. Not group one, I've heard some ones, group one did worse. Now, you know, you keep doing it and you keep doing it, you hit the ceiling and like you, you can't really get better at some point. And then at some point, like you're too tired and you, you, you get worse. Have you experienced that with the new games or new th something you've just learned? Uh, now, group two didn't have much difference from test to retest. So they did kind of well enough. But why gr group three did better? They didn't just that did better than these groups. They actually improved from test to the retest times, like not just double, but more than double in pre performance. So think about it. You do something real well, then you go to sleep, you come back, and you're doing it three times better. What the heck happened? Right? So they actually looked into the brains of people and animals uh, and whoever, and they found that when you learn something, there is specific brain activity going on, and when you go to sleep, your brain runs this activity like hundreds of times. It's like you're practicing for weeks. All of that happens during sleep, right? So when you wake up, you actually know better. What's even more interesting, you have the cycles of sleep, and you there are different types. So you go into one type of uh, stage of sleep, and then you get a little bit of REM, which means dreaming, and, and then another cycle, and you have five of these. Now, each stage, your brain does something else, something completely different. First, it consolidates information. Then it connects this information to tri previous information to um, it pu pulls the meaning out of the things, pulls patterns, rules. So actually, uh, when you learn something, you, you go through the cycle, you consolidate, you connect, you consolidate more, you connect. You get to this uh, cycle, you see the, you have a lot more REM here, that's when you dream too. And this is the most important part of your uh, night where you connect everything. You pull all of the meaning from everything you've learned b the day before. Now, if I, if you wake up, by the way, teens need a lot more. If you wake up here, you kind of lost that, like the most important part of your class, the summary, when the teacher actually gave you the meaning of everything you just uh, covered. Um, so what turns out to be you don't just need sleep before to rest. You actually need the sleep after. It's because when you... Um, sleep, you learn, meaning that your brain doesn't just rest. You might uh, uh, pass this exam, but you're more likely to fail because you didn't learn anything. You just crammed some information into yourself and it's, well, it's going to be all a mess. So the best scenario actually would be not stuff your, your brain with new information, but look at your notes kind of trigger those traces of memories in your brain and let your brain throughout the night sort that information, consolidate it, and you're gonna wake up ready for your test because you don't actually learn as you study. When you study, you stuff your brain with information. You learn when you sleep. When sleep organizes this information for you, it sorts it out, it connects it, um, and it does everything for you. So this fairy tale is no fairy tale uh, because actually you have work done for you when you sleep. So go get some sleep. Thank you.